Good morning, everyone. I am Steve Maddy. I'm chair of the Standards and Ethics Committee. I'm joined by my colleagues, Karen Kozowitz and Margaret Chin, as well as our legal counsel, Ben Smith. The Committee on Standards and Ethics is meeting today regarding a potential violation of Section 10.80 of the Council Rules. Because it is necessary for the committee to discuss confidential personnel issues, I am making a motion for the committee to move into executive session pursuant to Article 7 of the Public Officers Law. Do I have a second? Second. A motion has been made and seconded by Karen Kozowitz that the committee move into executive session. All those in favor of that motion say aye. Aye. Noting that the ayes have it, I am now going to close this portion of the meeting and reopen in executive session. Before we proceed into executive session, I will note for the public that the committee may vote on certain items of business during the session, and as a result, there may be an additional open session of the committee later today. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Again, I'm Steve Mario, Chair of the Committee on Standards and Ethics. I'm joined by um, my colleagues Steve Levin, Vanessa Gibson, Margaret Chin, Karen Koswitz, Ben Smith, our legal counsel. Today, the Committee on Standards and Ethics opened a meeting earlier pursuant to Section 10.80 of the Council Rules to review and discuss a potential violation of Council Rules and the conflicts of interest laws of the city by a, council, by a city council member. Because it was necessary for the committee to discuss confidential personnel issues in conjunction with the pending disciplinary matter, the committee voted to move into executive session pursuant to Article 7 of the Public Offices Law. We are now returning to open session to make public the outcome of today's vote. After reviewing the results of initial inquiry completed by the Office of the General Counsel, the committee found that a further investigation into these potential violations was warranted. As such, the committee voted today to open a matter and authorize further investigation of the potential violations. As with all committee matters that are under preliminary investigation, this matter will remain confidential and the identity of the council member will not be revealed at this time. Should the potential violations be found to be substantiated, the committee will consider issuing charges at which time the council member's identity may be made public. This concludes our summary of the committee's vote during today's meeting and the meeting is now adjourned. Thank you.